In this quick video guide, we're going to talk about the new version of Lumion 11. So we're going to see what are the main features and how you can also download it and install it if you are a student or if you want to try it for a short period as a free tool. And as you can see here, this uh, looks really nice. The renderings are really realistic and also you have these large uh, exteriors and very detailed interiors and all these are objects and elements that you will find inside Lumion itself and so it does have a lot of tools about visualization and about uh, architectonic views and animation rendering and so on and we're going to get into details in just a minute now if you want to try it or buy it this is the links so you can just open up this one here go into the page and you can click here to get my trial now all you need to do is to fill up this module so you're gonna insert your name and last name occupation and so on and of course your email this is where you're gonna receive the uh, all that you need and of course if you don't manage to do this you can always contact the support team so you click here when you finish and then you can download the trial now this is going to be 14 day trial so it's not a long period but it's enough to make you understand what the software is about and then to decide if you want to buy it or not and especially if your computer uh, it's uh, capable to handle the software so if you can check also the system requirements and like this so you can go here in the product page and you can check all the details about so go here product and requirements and you can check all those data about the what the software needs to run basically so there you go you can see here the graphic card memory and also the screen resolution and the system memory so these are the minimum requirements then you have recommended and then you have high hand requirements and uh, you're gonna see it's gonna be really heavy for some operation because it adds a lot of uh, if you go here in the products you can see that it has really a lot of effects so it's uh, really heavy sometimes to use it okay and so let's see here what's new so let's you can reach this page from the home page so you click here see what's new and you get into this page right here and uh, let's try to see what what are the the main features and also the new features now i think that the first and foremost feature of lumion is that it's really easy to use it's really user friendly you can really play around and have fun while you're working to create renders to create animations and so on it has a lot of objects, a lot of animated stuff that you can set. Now, whether you're doing an interior or an exterior rendering, you will have a lot of objects, a lot of details in your scene that's going to make it look more realistic and alive. Uh, instead of boring rendering, it, you, you can give really the look and feel of what you're thinking of your idea to your clients or to your teacher and so on. Oh, by the way, you can also go here to the students page and this is where you can get the student version so the educational licenses and you will need to contact a local partner and ask if you can use it for uh, a year a whole year so if you are a student or again if you are an educator you can use it just ask for them and uh, see what they tell you okay and let's go back here now this is the uh, one of the new feature which are new retro inspired objects for like 50s or 70 60 inspired objects you have a lot of characters people that you can place to again make it look more uh, realistic and okay again you can get lumion or try here and um, well let's go down below here now this is the list of the top features 
and we can check here what are these main features. Some of these are only available in the pro version. You have two versions. One is pro, it's the complete version, and then you have another, a smaller one, which costs, uh, I think, half of the price, but you can see all the information here in the buy page. And so you can see which one has which. So orthographic views are really cool because you can create plans and views, something that looks more technical. You can also add measures to your uh, scene and create something a little bit more technical. Also, you can use the facing, which will let you, let's say, watch your, the creation of your project face by face and not only a, a static render or only an animation, but you can animate all the construction process basically. And then you have a lot of, uh, well, you have environmental uh, features, but this is the a new feature, which is rain streaks for glasses. And then you have fire. And also the lights and the shadows are really improved in this last version. And we also will have more shaders and more materials in the and new objects in the pro version, but also in the other version, you have new materials here. Well, you can then check this yourself. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see an animation about the orthographic views and the animated phasing. So you can see they look more realistic. And also this one, it's a little bit more technical, but you can adjust them to have the look that you need. And you can see that everything is basically it's uh, animated, so you can animate the sun, the illumination, and so on, and the appearing or disappearing of objects, so to add that uh, facing effect. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit more. This is the rain streaks, and the fire, and the metallic shader, which again are some of the new features. And then you have like uh, the summary here of everything is new in the objects and in the materials. And also you will have IS lights, IES lights, which are more realistic lights and they are gonna give you really nice effect in the interiors, especially. And also other tools here, you can clip the architecture, you can insert character silhouettes if you want, you can render measures, so you can add annotations, you can add um, the size of uh, elements that are inside your view. And this is again, a kind of a process, uh, like a side view in 2D. And let's go a little bit down. And then you have this live sync, which will let you synchronize with other CAD application like Bricks CAD, but also, uh, for example, SketchUp. So you have this live sync for many tools and they're written here, but they are really small. So you, if you be able to read here, I think it, there is Revit and AutoCAD, ArchiCAD, so the, the most important architectural application out there. And then other another really nice thing for the pro version is the satellite maps, satellite maps. And this is really, really cool because you can get terrains and also, I guess, a little bit of the surrounding. And another one really nice is the 360 degree view that can help you to show your clients or your teacher, your uh, uh, project in 360 panoramas and also on the, on the phone and on the tablet. So it's kind of a uh, display that you can do in every device and also with VR headsets. So you can do a little bit of virtual reality. Okay, again, improved, li improved lighting rallies uh, for interior and exterior. And then you can check all the other information there. So I guess this will be all for this introduction to Lumion 11. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.